Hey, thanks so much for stopping by. I'm Chef Billy Parisi, and I've got a delicious recipe for pot roast braised in porter beer. It doesn't get much better than that. It's starting to get cold outside, perfect for this time of year. The first thing we're gonna do is cook off some super thick cut bacon. While the bacon is browning, we're gonna get into this pot roast. For me personally, this is one of those dishes that you can go back to the stove top a few times a day and cut a little chunk off and go eat it. I mean, it is one of those grazing meals. However, I don't want it to be this huge pot roast. I don't wanna take this thing out every time, take a slice, put it back in. I wanna take little chunks. So what we're gonna do is divide this into six pieces. We're gonna season it very well with salt and pepper on all sides. Then we're gonna lightly flour it. At that time, our bacon is gonna be done. We're gonna remove that, those crispy lardons, set them to the side. We're gonna get it golden brown on all sides. And next, we're gonna get braising. Our meat is browning up. I'm sure you can hear that in the background. We're gonna get into braising this. I've got a great porter beer, nice and dark, got a chocolate coffee, very creamy flavor to it. It's gonna be perfect. Once the beef is brown on all sides, we're gonna add in some porter beer. We're gonna also add in some beef stock. Season that up very, very well with salt and pepper. Add some parsley sprigs, some thyme sprigs. We're gonna braise in the oven for 350 degrees for about an hour and a half. In the meantime, we've got a bunch of great vegetables we wanna include in there. So we're gonna trim up some carrots, parsnips, turnips. I've got some cipollini onions and I've got some baby potatoes. After that time of that pot roast cooking in the oven for an hour and a half, we're gonna add those vegetables in there. We're gonna cook for a further 45 minutes so everything finishes at the same time. Our beef is cooked, our vegetables aren't mush. It's time to eat. Just as I said, the vegetables are perfectly tender. The key is to let the meat cook for a certain amount of time, add in the vegetables a little bit later so when everything's done, it's perfectly cooked. The beef is tender, the vegetables are tender, not mush. Perfect, perfect pot roast dish. Weeknight, weekend, you name it. All about comfort food during those fall and winter months. Get all these amazing ingredients and pot roast from your favorite Heinen's grocery stores. Check out Heinen's.com to see all of our wonderful recipe videos. I got a lot to eat, see you next time.